So now, in a previous video I showed how I have to score for this uh, particular wire uh, between these two wires before I peel them apart. Otherwise the plastic starts uh, ripping off from one to the other. Now I uh, removed the insulation. I've done more than that. That's why they're kind of uh, screwy. With this tool I had to get the uh, full insulation and uh, filming this did not go well earlier. And uh, so apparently these connectors, uh, 12 American wire gauge is the uh, maximum uh, wire gauge you can use. Um, so yeah, going to clamp it down there and uh, log it in place. So. Uh, before I cut and strip any more, because uh, these strands are loose right there, you can see how uh, loose they are when I put this on, pulled it off, they're, they're kind of uh, mangled a little bit right there. They were doing a lot better before. Um, you want to make sure you secure uh, one end right there. Now uh, we can cut it, that won't mess up the strands, and then strip insulation, the strands will be held in place. So now we come back to this 12 American wire gauge and uh, this doesn't even really fit in this tool there. I think I can wedge it in but it uh, maybe will only cut just uh, one wire so that hasn't gone well. I know in previous videos I just used uh, snips like this so I should uh, cut one and then the other and again this is not even working that great but it will work uh, right there snips we got them cut and again I secured the uh, stranded ends over there. Uh, previously and uh, to help hold these strands in place. This one should work quite a bit better right there. Cuts it off uh, kind of like cutting uh, through butter. So again we got strands there that are held in place by this um, especially when you uh, strip the insulation and uh, so I'm gonna have to score this uh, end right there before I peel them and then I can uh, remove the insulation. So now, coming back to the uh, 12 American wire gauge, I separated these two sides by scoring them, and then uh, I removed the insulation, I didn't uh, film that, uh, but then I clamped on these connectors right there, because it's stranded wires to hold them in place. Now, uh, I also cut off uh, that end after I clamped them into place, because it's stranded wire, they uh, can be uh, pulled out if you do not uh, secure uh, the other end, especially uh, once you cut it from the roll. So I'm going to score this now because uh, they don't pull apart uh, very good. In fact I filmed this earlier I didn't score it hard enough so I'm going to do that now. They didn't want to come apart. And there we go. That I actually uh, cut it uh, good enough. Again it's the second time. Get this cap back on. Be very careful when you do. Um, as soon as you're done. Right there. But yeah now um, well they actually came apart down there but uh, they're going to come apart a lot easier than uh, they would have if I just tried to force it. So now we come back to this 12 American wire gauge. I had to score it with the uh, blade before they would come apart and uh, I think with one strand I can cut with this. So we actually can. Um, we can also strip uh, with this tool 12 American wire gauge. Pretty easy. It's good to leave the insulation on. Um, you give it a slight twist when you want to use it. Now to cut the two uh, wires I either had to snip one side and the other with uh, snips uh, but this one was wide enough where I was able to cut them both. But in any case, uh, on the end down there is uh, 12 for it says American wire gauge down at the bottom. And uh, this particular uh, tool, you just uh, close that on there. And uh, that pulled off easier than I thought it would. I thought it would give me a little bit of a struggle. I think I'll want a little bit more. Um, but in any case, there we go. We pull it off. And uh, so one strand already like came loose, uh, but it would have been worse if I didn't have these uh, connectors on there right there. So be aware of that. So now I uh, got uh, this tool and uh, this tool. I don't think this one worked very well when I uh, tried to uh, do even smaller wire than this. Um, but uh, they came in a kit that was like $35, 92 piece kit, but that's like drill bits and stuff. Um, so I showed uh, using this uh, with this wire uh, previously and it works uh, really well. Um, that Klein tool right there that I paid about $20 I believe. That should be about what it's going on. Um, so yeah the strands did come loose even though I clamped uh, the ends on there. Uh, be aware of that. So, um, but in any case um, it will uh, cut through the wire and I thought it would cut through uh, better. Right there. That's actually not uh, very good. So yeah I got this from the uh, cheap uh, kit. So now we're going to try to take a quick look at this tool. It does cut wire. Um, I also got this one. This doesn't work near as good as my uh, Klein, but I got in the same kit that I got these. This is a 90 piece uh, tool kit, same uh, with this one. 
for $35, whereas this was like $20. So as a single tool, that one was more expensive. Now the cutter did not work uh, well at this at all. I had to uh, cut with that one right there, which uh, works really well. So already it's uh, deficient to the client in that aspect. Now um, it is a, uh, I think you can adjust it, but I just kind of uh, like squeeze it and uh, it does, that came off uh, really easy uh, right there. Uh, it does kind of nick the wire and stuff, doesn't do as good, but I think it did actually really well on there. Now, of course, some strands did come loose, even though I secured it right there, so uh, be aware of that. Um, but in any case, uh, hope you enjoyed.